Yeah, I mean, you know, Hunter, Hunter took it up pretty, pretty hard there at the beginning, but um, you know, I knew he has started to do that the rest of the, the um, rest of the season, and um, you know, I knew he'd probably come back to me, and so I was kind of just trusting on that, and um, he did it at some point, uh, kind of right before like, going up the hill the first time, and uh, I tried to push that hill uh, and take a little bit of the lead, and I talked to my coach beforehand a little bit, um, and you know, he said at some point in the race, you know, take the lead, and and after that, just don't relinquish it and uh, press on, press on to the finish. So I think I did that pretty well, and uh, it worked out today. And so, yeah, thank God for, for being out here, uh, putting me out here and giving me this opportunity. It's, it's, it's a huge blessing to toe the line with all these amazing athletes. How about his experience out here when you've, when you've done it at least once before? Yeah, you know, having that experience is, is huge and definitely kind of gives me a leg up on, on everybody else who hasn't had the opportunity to run this course. And, you know, it's, it's an easy course to make mistakes on. Um, it's really tough. Lots of undulations and, uh, you know, it's, it's tight corners that you kind of have to push. And so it's, it's kind of a slow course. So, you know, to have that experience coming in and, and knowing where to push and um, kind of how to run the race, it, definitely huge. And uh, try to use that to my best, best of my ability to say. It worked out. So. Any, any other race that you've gone out in 37 or faster day that prepared you for that pace to start out? Absolutely. You know, even last week at MXN, I think the Twins took it out in like 4.33 and I was about a second off of them. So, you know, having races like that and, and those kind of experiences definitely prepares me for days like today and even at the college level um, upcoming soon you know they, they take it out fast every race so you know I think th these are great opportunities to have in high school and uh, definitely help me go going forward in the future. People have said going from one big race to another big race you've had two big races in a row Absolutely. didn't seem to bother you. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I try not to think about those kind of things. You know, it's it's just exciting to be out here and having these opportunities, and uh, I want to take advantage of every every chance I have. Um, you know, it's again, it's just a blessing from God to to be out here competing against amazing amazing athletes like like today. And um, <laughs> I'm still I'm still in awe of just what I've been able to do today and what what God's done for me um, the past couple of weeks. You know, it's it's been not ideal. I haven't been able to run full mileage, and there's been some small injuries coming up here and there, but. Even uh, athletic trainers that have helped me stay healthy and uh, you know working on me like Scott Hudson, having him back home uh, has been amazing. And uh, coaches like Jeff Richter as well, um, strength coach. And uh, yeah, it's just it's amazing to have such great people around me and helping me to get to, to to these meets and perform well. How tall are you? Six four. <laughs> that get the job done here Absolutely. In Balboa. Yeah, you know, Midwest especially, you know, there's, there's a lot of great kids out, out of Midwest and I'm blessed to be one of them. You know, it's a, it's a fun environment to have those guys around uh, in the regular season to, to race against them and prepare for days like today is, is amazing. You know, Midwest, Midwest is best. Uh, there's, there's something brewing out there and uh, to, to be able to come come from that region is, is a special, special thing. And yeah, we come out here and dominate. We show up every year. So Is Cole a particular uh, a role model at all for you? Yeah, you know, Cole, Cole Hawker, yeah, absolutely. He's he's done some amazing things. I mean, going out to Oregon and, and doing what he's done at, uh, at at a young age and going to the Olympics and finishing sixth in the 1500, I mean, that was so much fun. I was actually out in Boulder over the summer with my team and was able to watch that race with them and to, to see him run, run so well, and uh, it, it was amazing. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy to see such great athletes from Indiana performing at the highest level and you know hopefully one day I'll be up to one of them. Today, Katie How confident were you going into today? Obviously you finished fifth last year I believe, right? Fifth. Yeah, yep. And you know today, the course, the um, did you believe that you come Nicole, here running Humphreys. to win? I mean was that the overall goal for you? Absolutely. Every time I tell the line, uh, the goal is to win. Um, and, you know, it, it was rough in some of those regional races, you know, going out there and, and not being able to perform to the best of my abilities, in my opinion. But, you know, those are learning experiences as well. You know, I wasn't ready for that type of comp competition, but it prepared me for today. And, you know, I had a ton of confidence coming in um, that, that God was going to be able to give me the strength I needed to perform the best of my ability. And, you know, if that wasn't first, I would have been content with that. You know, it's, it's just amazing to be out here. And so... Um, to come with the win, it, it's a huge, huge honor, um, especially like like people said, it's a, it's a family out here at Champs, uh, East Bay slash like Foot Locker, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely huge, and I, I, I've got a lot of confidence uh, every time I tell that line. How excited are you about having two buffs win today? 